and still able to be caught. That, that that second number should start getting a lot faster now. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, it's a little faster. Then that one we will be moving as fast as the second one, and then this one will start moving up fast. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And you see it start to curve around and all the different possibilities of where you're going to end up at after you wait like a year, two years, five years. So yeah. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then here comes this one. One, two, three, four, five. And we're around. See, it's not ideal, but it's something. We'll burn this down. We'll poke the other one out. How far am I away right now? 23 million? Yeah, we'll get it down to 23 million. <clears throat> or so. Ooh, that, that runs into the mun. That could have been a possibility. But I can never trust, like, running into the mun and stuff. It's never, never fruitful. Have about 200 delta V before we hit zero or close to zero. Takes us a day to get there. That's how slow we're going. Holy cow. A day and an hour. This is going to almost flip, but I don't want to flip. I just want to get our periapsis back out because right now it's minus 570,000. Two hours to get there. There's just running into the mud again. All right. We are going super, super slow. So I'm going to go retrograde and burn. Oops, that flipped us. <laughs> Oops. Uh, how do I get the periapsis out at this point? Weird. You're saving up for treats? Go for it, dude. Good luck. All right. So if I go prograde here, holy bejesus. What's up, Dev Appler? How are you, buddy? Welcome in. Happy Tuesday. How are you? Yeah, right, TJ? She will be your new best friend afterwards. So she's not really good at doing that. <laughs> she loses patience really, really fast and she just wants to eat the treat. Played a lot of Minecraft today. Awesome. 
three days to get to the periapsis? Oh my goodness. All right, we're going to add a maneuver here. Or, er, yeah. I'm going to add a maneuver there and add the alarm clock. And this is going to be the, the repair, the burn. <clears throat> Apply. And then we got to go to Gilly Rescue Craft. This one we're not going to screw up. <coughs> I promise. Seems like Minecraft is coming back in the season for a lot of people. One second, guys. What is this mod? This isn't a mod. I am playing no mods, my friends. How are you? Welcome in. He says that before he screws it up. F5 for safety. I had to play the new experimental 1.18 stuff on hardcore. Yeah? How was it? Whenever they release big significant updates, 118 is pretty nice. Well, yeah, but they haven't released 118 yet. It's been out on the beta branch for three months now. Ever since they said they were going to split it up. I'm not dead, but it took three hours to find diamonds. It's a lot harder. Yep. It did it on purpose. <laughs> Imagine how long it's going to take to speed run that game now. It's going to take a long time. In Minecraft? Yeah, Mr. Greater Than. They changed where all of the blocked generate now you can't go to one at one y level anymore and find all the all the ore you have to go to different places now well i mean are you playing hardcore and did it take you three hours or how long have you been playing in it Well, yeah, probably in the caves, but if you're playing hardcore, the last place you want to go is those caves unless you're protected. Trip mining isn't really necessary anymore, which is a great thing. Yeah. Anything that changes meta from classic, go down to Y12 and strip mine. Yeah. That's true. But, Chivo, people are still going to use x-rays. They're going to find some way to cheat. But yeah, if I'm in hardcore, the last thing I want to do is go hop skipping and jumping into my and in, into caves. Dev Appler, you'd be amazed at the number of people who are doing it in our in our community server. The thing is, you can't you can't stop people from using X-rays because most X-rays are texture packs. They're not mods that can be picked up and, and stopped. Yeah. 
at least on Bedrock it can, but it can't. No, yeah, Bedrock, yeah, but not on Java. I could I could mod the game and force you to use mods and stuff that'll kind of discern you from using it, but I don't want to mod the server either. Right now the whole server is jacked. I had to download the world file. I got to figure out what to do with it. I got to find somewhere where I can host it where you guys can download it if you want it. Nowhere. Nowhere that I have found yet will they let you put 50 gigabytes onto a, a, a server for free. I found some places that are 10 and 15, but not 50. I don't want to host it locally because I don't want you guys to know my IP address. <coughs> Not even Google Drive. Google Drive gives you 15 gigabytes for free, but this world is 50. I would need I would need four four free Google Drives to do that. <laughs> Spoiler, lol. Don't even joke about that kind of stuff, Mew. Yeah, I keep I keep documents and stuff on mine too. Mew, for every person who knows what that means, there's one person that doesn't know what that means, and they're gonna take it the wrong way. So be careful when you type stuff like that in someone's chat. Please and thank you. So you know that stuff? Well, that's cool. I'm not. I'm not gonna go. Like, I'm trying to find a. Uh, I'm just trying to find a free way to put a 50 gig file somewhere and give it to somebody to download if they want it. Don't really want to pay to do it because I'm trying not to spend a lot of money on that kind of stuff. And I can't just email somebody a 50 gig file. Now, this one we're tight on Delta V. But that's because the way I designed this ship. This one's got two Kerbals that we had to save. So we saved these guys from the orbit of Gilly, and they're level three. That's kind of cool. So from the orbit of Gilly to the orbit of Eve to here, they got level three. <clears throat> they have a way to store huge files and send them over, but I would pay for bandwidth. Well, yeah. I, I know it's not free. Is Jebediah dead? No. Jebediah is uh, safe and sound at Kerbal Space Center. He's just not used very much because I don't need him anymore. Trying to do manned flights is, is more mass than what we need. Putting on a probe is a lot less, eh, is a lot more economically friendly when it comes to having a, a mass limit on our ships. We're going to go ahead and start our re-entry. <clears throat> That's why when I built this to rescue two Kerbals, two lander cans was less mass than one two-person pod. <laughs> Which is why our ship looks the way it does, because I went, I went the least route possible. And then I wanted to use these because I never used the round solar panels before. They actually worked out pretty well. 
Well, one of those covers an entire engine's need for power. But I had to make it uh, symmetrical because of mass. That's the name of the game, though. What is? Kerbal Space Program? You trying to say I have to use Kerbals, or do you mean ridiculous builds? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, we got to keep ourselves low, man. Low and slow. We go TJ showing the ways of the armament to Akabidi and Amazed Galaxy. Guys, enjoy your ad free viewing, your sandy emotes, and your sword. That's 10 subs. You see, you see the number 10 right there? That means we can do a game giveaway during our re entry burn. We'll be giving away a game. It's a random Steam code. Anyone can enter, but you gotta be following in order to win. Exclamation point game to enter. Guys, welcome in. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Enjoy your subs. What's up, Anth? How you doing, buddy? Where's the other fork? Fork? I'm sorry. Did Sandy spin the wheel yet? Uh, no, Sandy did not spin the wheel yet, Dorian. But hi. Oh, my aunt got the 10K bit badge. You got a new weapon, too, from the armament. 10K. I think that's an... Uh, maybe the axe? I forget which one it is. How's KSP going? It's going pretty well. We got our space stations built. We got our asteroid grabber built. We found a comet. And right now we are we are warping hundreds and hundreds of days to get some of the final stuff done. Axe is 75k. Okay, so it's not the axe. Ah, oh, it was the mace. Or the morning star. Gotcha. Morning star is nice. Yeah, so right now we're just we're just bringing some Kerbals home from Gilly. <clears throat> These were two rescue missions. They were stuck in the orbit of Gilly. So we had to bring them home. So now we're just slowing ourselves down. Or, well, we'll we're, we're not slowing ourselves down because we can't slow ourselves down faster than in our orbit. But we're going to be coming in, so it should be fun. We're going to turn off that. We're going to retract the antenna. We're going to be entering the atmosphere here soon. I am going to one, one, two, three, throwing that stage off, and then we're coming in. We can do that. And now we re-entered. Hopefully, they survive. <laughs> This entire craft is untested. We're just kind of winging it at the moment. Moody Pirate, it's been a while. Hope you're well. Thanks for being here. Yeah, the giveaway's got two minutes left, you guys. With the stream so sublime, but now it's high time. Carlo Bird, go to bed. <laughs> You try to be so eloquent every time. Just go get some sleep. You're lurking. No worries, man. I get it. I get it. Hi, Duel. How are you, buddy? Welcome in. Dorian, are you still here? Yep. 
Yes, sir. What did you need translated from the wheel? Because it, it all looked pretty clear to me. What would you like to know of it? Duel, how have you been, buddy? I haven't seen you in a while. Does that a lot? You're on the cell phone. Once I got a PC, you were able to read it? Okay. Because you were like, can you translate it? I'm like, is there something he can't read? I think I wrote everything pretty clear. <laughs> but yes, we've already spun the wheel once today. We ended up eating some, some Carolina Reaper peanuts. TJ wanted to give it a whirl, no pun intended. But it's right here. It's a wheel. There's some green pieces that are chroma keyed, obviously. Is that the hot nuts? Yep. Carolina Reaper peanuts. They're right here. Ass kicking Reaper pepper honey peanuts. They smell horrendous. Oops. I dropped one. But that's what they look like right there. How hot are they? If you're not good with heat, they're going to kick your ass. They they get you. In the <laughs> they're hot. They're good. One second, guys. The trick is not to let it. The trick is not to let a lot of air in while you're first getting the heat introduced. You want to wait till you can water down a little bit. How are you with heat? I'm not bad with it, but that got in the back of my throat. What do you mean, Chivo? Like this? I don't care, dude. If I get them in my eyes, I get them in my eyes. Guys, winner of the game code. Is oh my am that's rigged. Congrats, oh my am. Let's get you a code, my friend. And thank you to everybody who got in. Uh let's see. Code, code, code. Code, code, code. You? Yes, you. Code, 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 code. I have DM'd it to you on Discord. Congrats. And that's how it's done. That's how easy it is. Good night, Carlo. Take care, buddy. I'll see you soon. What's the game? I don't know. I get all the codes and I put them on a spreadsheet. I take the names away from them. I have no idea what they are. So like the other day, TJ sent me a bunch of codes. I only knew them from the code. I didn't know them from the name. So as I got done with them, I told them which ones were being done. We're going to land some science on Kerbin? Uh, no. We're bringing home two Kerbals. That were stuck in orbit of Gilly. They were trapped. It was, it was a mission. This has been... Um, the MET is not accurate. It's probably been about four years. So they're entered into Steam and it automatically gives the game. Yep. So what you do is you open up Steam. Uh, right here. You go to Games. Activate a product. You paste the code here. If you already have it, it'll say you already own this game and you can give the code to someone else. But you enter it there and it says, there you go. I bet they'll be happy to get back home. Sure. They've learned their lesson not to go to Gilly without flying the Armament Space Agency. Yeah, they got to come back around. I'm okay with that. Yeah, Ant, it's not bad. So, like, if you subscribe to services like um, Humble Bundle and things like that, it's like twelve or fifteen dollars a month, and you get like fifteen games a month. There are people who don't want some of those games, so they give me the codes that way I can give them away to you guys in chat. So some of them are duplicates, not not the codes themselves, but some of the games are duplicates. But I just put all the codes on a spreadsheet and then copy and paste the spaces and go. Chivo? I, I, I don't know. Maybe. <clears throat> Depends on how how agile Kerbals are. Depends on how agile they are.
They could just spring right back up. They, someone said they're plants, right? Probably just need a little bit of water, a little bit of sun. They'll go and pop up, start walking around. <laughs> they're plant-based, yeah, see? They need electrolytes, that's what plants crave. Come on, capture. 90, 80, watch my Apple apps is here. 70, all right, we're in. We're coming home. We're probably gonna splash down in the water. And some mods they do. I'm pretty sure you can force them to eat whatever you want them to eat. Eat each other. But we're trapped and we're hungry. Well, you better start losing arms and legs then. This should actually re-enter pretty well. I never took any ablator away either. Look at me. Didn't account for any mass from the ablator. How dare I? <laughs> Loin. I'm sure one exists. Also known as the Rimworld mod. <laughs> Jeb Kerbin is throwing a tantrum and is breaking the, the controls in the, in the pod. The final straw was couldn't see the mun. Valentina Kerman is on a murderer's rampage. She'll murder anyone that she sees. She only sees herself. Doo -doo -doo. Valentina Kerman is expired. <laughs> All right, parachute inspired taming by Bill. For the next eight days, Bill will be inspired to tame any animal that comes across. <laughs> But I'm stuck in Moho! Well, you better start looking under the rocks, moron! <clears throat> ba -da -ba -ba -da -bum. Ooh! There we go. Nice. We'll eject that. We don't need it. 6.7530. Oh, nine. nine. 6.75309. So we got these two Kerbals home. We got another Kerbal to bring home from a from a botched entry bird. <laughs> 